Thanks for joining us. And first up tonight, there are still a lot of questions after the city of Houston revealed today several bodies that were supposed to be relocated from a historic black cemetery in Fifth Ward more than 60 years ago apparently were never even moved and the remains were only discovered as Metro employees were working on a new project in the area. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us live in the newsroom with what she's learned about this. Gabby. Well, Jonathan, in the 1960s, the city got permission to relocate about 400 uh, people, bodies that is, from Evergreen Cemetery in order to create a median. They were supposed to all be respectfully moved to another part of that same cemetery. But in 2023, the city just discovering that some of those bodies were never relocated. Fully cognizant of this being Black History Month and fully cognizant of the fact that the people who are buried here were disrespected when they were alive. Evergreen Cemetery holds the bodies of former slaves, soldiers, and Houston residents. In the 1960s, the city of Houston hired a contractor. They turned part of the cemetery into a median. They were supposed to respectfully remove and rebury every body in that area. The city, along with this contractor, should have done the work properly in the first place. On Monday afternoon, Mayor Sylvester Turner stood with local pastors, politicians, and other city leaders, revealing some 33 grave sites were never relocated, but instead built on top of. And now we are faced in 2023. Uh, with the task of um, honoring those who were buried here. 33 grave sites were found. 30 of those sites had pieces and remnants of coffins and bones. The other three grave sites held a significant amount of human remains. This story needs to be reinserted into the history books to say that in Houston and other cities, this is what was done to African Americans in their lives and in their deaths. Yes. Disrespected while they lived, disrespected while they, when they died. These remains were found as Metro was digging and beginning the planning phase for a Metro Rapid University line. It's about making sure that the city uh, correct a wrong that has been done as much as possible. Well, all work in that area has now been suspended for the time being as the city works on how to identify those remains and re-enter their bodies into that cemetery. Now, one local pastor who was at today's press conference also called for more funds for cleanup to be allocated to that cemetery, uh, cemetery as consolation.